Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all been very well. Today's video, scarves are the stars. We're going to choose a scarf styling technique and build an outfit around it. If you're somebody that grabbed a scarf as a last minute idea, maybe you took it because you couldn't think of anything else, or you took it because you might be chilly, and probably you styled it in the same way you've been styling it for years because you just can't remember anything else, well, this video is for you. We're going to be choosing the scarf first and building the outfit around it. We're going to be choosing styling techniques to amplify an outfit. Sound exciting? It is. Scarf styling is one of my favorite modern techniques to make a spring summer outfit go from boring to sparkling. With that, let's get started. Let's begin with one of my all time favorites. I like to think of this as my easy, graceful, feminine shawl. I'm beginning with a 48 by 48 inch square scarf. I'm folding it in half and I'm tying the edges so that I have a tie at one end and a tie at the other end. I then very gracefully slide my arms into what's become a beautiful shawl. In this instance, we've used a simple outfit and a patterned scarf, but the reverse would be equally as beautiful. So let's say you had a bold geometric dress. You could easily add a solid scarf, create this shawl, and have what I believe would be a very chic and stunning styling technique. That's number one. Next, our styling technique is to create a statement necklace out of a scarf. We'll be taking a rectangular scarf. In this case, my scarf is 70 inches by 30 inches. We'll be dropping it to the back, crossing it in the back, and bringing the ends forward. We then have a lovely circular panel of the scarf around the neck, and we'll be one at a time looping each side around and into the circle, then the other side, inside and around, until finally we only have the two ends which we tie together and tuck into the scarf so that it disappears. We've created a beautiful, in this case, black and white necklace to showcase the solid black dress. I believe this is very easy to create and it's quite a statement, quite a dynamic addition to even the most simple of outfits. Your scarf will be the star. This next scarf technique is a favorite of mine when I anticipate I'm going to be experiencing too much air conditioning in the spring and the summer. So let's say I know I'm going to a particularly chilly restaurant or I know I'm going to a chilly movie theater. This is the scarf technique I will build my outfit around. I'm beginning again with a 70 inch by a 30 inch rectangular scarf. And I'll begin by putting it over my head, drapely loop loosely draping it over my head and tying it loosely under my chin. I will then remove, slipping it off my head onto my shoulder, creating a very secure shawl. If you like, you can tie the knot just one more time, making it all the more secure. I love this technique for my pear-shaped women. If you often would look for a nice bold shoulder to offset your hip, this lovely shawl technique is a substitute for this in the spring and the summer months. Because the shawl sits so boldly on your shoulder, 
it creates a lovely, beautiful hourglass shape. Just perfect if you are looking to balance. This next scarf styling technique occurred to me when I heard a quote that a famous woman named Marjorie Merriweather Post once said. She would say, it's just as, as important how a woman exits a room as how she enters it. And in her instance, she chose to place jewelry such that it dangled down her back, creating quite a bit of drama. I was inspired by that. And that made me create this very dramatic technique of wearing a scarf. Taking a long, slim scarf, the one in the image is 66 inches by 22 inches, and simply tying it and allowing it to drop down your back, for my mind, allows the scarf to become jewelry. Once again, whether your dress is patterned or your outfit is, is patterned and the scarf is bold and simple and solid, it works, or such as we've shown here, and that is a very simple black dress with a dramatic black and white print scarf. Those of you that have been watching me for a little while know that floral usually isn't my thing. But I do love adding an element of a floral created from a scarf to a very masculine tailored outfit. So what we see here is the technique used to create a rose that can be tied around the neck. We begin with a 35 inch by 35 inch, a standard square scarf. We create a rectangle. We then create an accordion pleat. And once the pleat is completed, we tie it in place, securing it with a hair tie. We then soften the flower and use the rest of the scarf to tie the flower a little bit askew around the neck. I love this. I think it's such a wonderful element of floral drama and it works so beautifully with the trend at the moment of wearing masculine vests. And finally, I want to share with you five different ways to use a scarf that has been folded. We begin with the 35 by 35 inch square scarf. We're going to fold the points in and then fold it in and in such that we end up with a long thin piece. With that long folded piece of silk, we can create so many interesting styles. The first is probably the one I use the most often around my neck. I start with it in front, I do a twist, I pull it to the back and tie it, and then I turn it inside out. I find that the knot from the reverse side is more interesting to look at than the knot was before I turned it inside out. The second method I use with the same piece of, of silk is I love to tie it off to the side and put one end in the back and one in the front. Once again, creating an asymmetric placement for the knot. My third favorite is to bring both hanging out in front. So the same tie, but rather than putting one in front and one in the back, I allow both to hang in front this time. And then finally, using my scarf as an accessory. As you can see at the moment, I'm wearing a scarf as a belt. All I've done for this is very simple. Same thing I've just described, have a long thin piece, pop it around my waist, tie it to create a waist, giving myself the smallest possible part in the middle, tie a knot, 
And then I love to stick the ends within the body of the scarf and I move the knot to the side. I prefer to have it to the side rather than having the knot in the middle. I feel if I leave the knot in the middle, I'm emphasizing the tummy. Whereas if I put it off to the side, I'm drawing the eye off to the side. That's it for me. That's all of my favorite scarf techniques for the spring and summer months. Thank you as always for your time. You know how much I appreciate your watching. Please let me know if you had any questions with any of these styling techniques. I'm happy always to answer any questions that you may have. In the meanwhile, get up, get dressed, be happy. I can't wait to see you next time. And by the way, this week, happy spring. See you next time. Bye-bye.